Okay, so I want to do this really cool unboxing video. But for, oh wait, no, hang on, first of all. Okay, so I want to do this unboxing video and order the Ten Commandments. And it comes in this really fancy box they call it Ark of the Covenant. So I figured I should do an unboxing video because it's really elaborate packaging, right? So anyway, I get some friends together and we're all going to unbox it together because I figure I'm only going to unbox it once. So I wanted some extra guys to run more, more than one camera so we could see we wouldn't miss anything, right? And so um, Wayne came over and Fredo and uh, a guy we call Squirrely Joe. And so we're all looking at the thing. Well, so Fredo wanted to do this, this Jewish ritual to honor the Hebrew God whose ark this used to be. And, I'm, and, and, and Wayne's like, I'm uncomfortable with this Jewish ritual. And I'm like, whatever. I don't even know. It was, it was written in some language that like no one understood. So the instructions for this, how to do this ritual. So I'm not even sure Fredo did it right. But anyway, so he gets done with that. And so we finally open the thing up, right? And it makes this noise, which is like taking the lid off of a of the back of a toilet tank, you know? And so I'm like, what is this cheapo thing? I mean, it looked really fancy, but I don't know. It's starting to look cheesy now. And then, so, okay, so we looked inside. Worst packaging ever. There's like no bubble wrap or styrofoam peanuts or anything. I mean... Whatever was inside it was totally pulverized. I'm looking for stone tablets and it's just like sand. It's like, what? It's like somebody took this and just put it in the back of a truck and drove halfway across the desert bouncing around all afternoon or something because it was just gone, right? Totally destroyed. And so Squirrely Joe sees that it's all sand or something and he thinks it's hilarious. He's laughing his head off. And then Fredo looks in and there's some lights in there or something. I didn't know there was even supposed to be like a power supply in there, but apparently it was activated and this thing starts projecting holograms all around, right? And Fredo is like, oh, it's beautiful. I really love it. But um, I don't know. Then then it had gotten rotten or something because what looked really cool at first starts getting like decayed. And so like Wayne is freaking out. And Squirrely Joe, he, I don't know if it was like he had some sort of allergic reaction or something, right? Because like his face broke out. I don't know. His face was doing something really weird. It was all bloody or something. It's crazy. And then, um, then, then Fredo gets scared. And literally, I thought his head was going to explode because he's looking at this. And the guy running camera is like, oh, this hurts my eyes to look at. I'm like, you guys are worthless. Come on. Let's just pack it all up and send it back. So anyway, we got it all put back together, back in just like we found it. Okay, everything's fine. We're going to send it back. And they tell me there's a 30% restocking fee. 30%. And I'm like, that's that that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. First of all, it arrives defective, right? It's it you know it's totally destroyed in there. And then they're gonna have me pay them to restock it. And I'm thinking that yeah, they're just gonna like put it in a new box and 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 put a new label on it, and then just like pack it away in a warehouse and wait for the next chump that orders it, right? So anyway, don't order the Ten Commandments or the Higher Law or whatever it was supposed to be in there because they send it in an Ark of the Covenant. It's terrible. At one star, because that's the lowest rating I can give it, I would give it negative five stars if I could. But that's my warning to you, and that's my unboxing video. So subscribe to my channel, because that makes me feel better about myself. And then you know, I'll, you'll see the next video.